All right, guys, today I want to talk about creating a little bit more lag on the forehand, doing what they call an ATP style forehand, where we're trailing the racket, we're getting that, that snap here, where we're lagging the racket and getting that racket speed. Now, if you heard that noise there, that is because I just found a gadget on uh, eBay for 20 bucks called the wrist snap. Snappy wrist, <laughs> snappy wrist. I'm not a gadget kind of guy, at least not a tennis gadget kind of guy, but I think this thing could actually help with the timing of the lag. Now, let me explain. Now, if we're doing an ATP style forehand, we want our lag, this racket snapping back on the approach to the ball. Now, if you watch some of the women using a WTA style forehand, they will kind of snap this wrist back early and supinate all the way through the shot. And I've done videos on why women gravitate to this kind of technique. But if we're doing the ATP style forehand, again, what we want to do is trail the racket and not really use the wrist at this point and have the wrist lay the racket back and create that lag after we've rotated our body. So it happens en route to the ball. Now again, if you can hear the snap here, if we lay it back too soon, you can hear it on the way back. And if we get the timing right and we lag the racket as we turn our body, we can get it snapping here. Now, what I also think is interesting is there's a lot of people that would snap here and then hold on to the shot and push it. And you can hear that it hasn't released. But if I release the, the, the wrist and pronate, it also snaps. So we want to feel like that snap is here. And then we're also snapping after contact to pronate. So lag and pronate. What we don't want is the lag, the lag happening too soon. And we also don't want the lack of snap because we've pushed through the strike. I got a gadget, guy. You wanna come try it? Snappy wrist. So let's see if you can hear this as I'm hitting a ball. So I can't be too eager to lay this back. I want the snap to happen, the lag to happen as my body rotates. Not a uh, WTA forehand. But it's all right. Do I look like a girl? So you can kind of see that or hear that right out the gate. What I want to do is wait what? Uh, no, I, I definitely come back early and hold and hold the position because I don't. Yeah. So would you say for maximum output, the time between your snaps is minimized? I think so. Snap, snap. As I said, I'm not one for gadgets. I kind of want to get one of those top spin pros and just see how far I can hit it across the court. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to try and do one where it's early. Yeah. Early snap, early snap, no second snap. And then I got a big time push, but it's not necessarily wrong because I can, I think sometimes if I'm hitting a ball up the line, yeah, or on that, but I, I would kind of guide it a little bit maybe. But if I want some racket speed, that's huge. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I encourage you to go to tpatennis.com. You can sign up to a monthly program where you can send me unlimited videos. You can text me whenever you want, email me, and I'm there to respond, break down your strokes, and just give you some advice on what to work on next time you're on the practice court.